you for coming out on this cold, snowy night. And um, I am so excited to share my work with you tonight. Um, I've been working for a couple of years on the paintings and the sculptures that you see at the show. And I'm supposed to kind of talk about my work, but I don't really want to um, define the work for you. One of the things that I enjoy um, about doing my paintings and doing my sculptures is that I like to discover things um, in the work while I'm working on them. So I definitely want you to be able to discover things for yourself tonight. So I really don't want to talk about the themes that I start to work out um, <clears throat> in my paintings or really tell you what I think you should think they are. I want you to be able to look at the paintings, look at the sculptures, and um, decide what you think they mean. So I think I will tell you a little about my process. <laughs> my brother is videotaping. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll just get the tape from the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sometimes I'm nervous talking in front of people. Sometimes I'm not at all. Um, I'm kind of nervous tonight. But, um, I'd like to tell you a little about what I do and how I make my paintings. And I've had so many children come up to me tonight and say, what do you do? One little boy came up, and this was so funny. He asked me, my, my brothers and sisters will think this is funny, do you use a potato? <laughs> oh, that's funny. They said, who did you use a potato? And my friend Randy has a potato painting. But I, I really started off in art liking to just like make weird impressions and marks and textures. And I was kind of enamored with just color and texture from the very beginning. My, my very first painting class, I remember going to my mother, who's a very talented artist, and just showing her my palette with all the paint on it. And I was like, look what I did. <laughs> so I, I think that um, having kind of a, a loose idea of what art is has been helpful for me to, to kind of find my own way as an artist. So just a little bit about what I do um, to make my paintings. And some of you have maybe have seen this little film. A really good friend of mine, David Berry, did a neat film, and it shows kind of some of my process. So it's a little repeating. Uh, I haven't seen everybody. <laughs> But anyway, um, so what I do to make my paintings, I go to my studio every day, and I'm a, I've been a full-time artist for 20 years. Um, and basically, I start the day with not knowing at all what I'm going to do. Unless I'm in the middle of a painting, I, can, I continue working on it. But I really like to experiment, and I really like to have fun. I look forward to going to my studio every single day. I can't wait to get there. So I usually have a big palette, um, and I put paint down on it. Uh, sometimes very just random colors, whatever's sitting around or whatever. And then I take panels. You might notice that most of the paintings are on panels. There is one experimental canvas over there, but usually I like to work on panels because I can manhandle them. So I take a panel, and I mush it into uh, a big palette, and I just kind of start to create shapes and colors, and it starts off very random. I never uh, pre-think out a painting, and I really enjoy doing that. It's really just a lot of fun. Sometimes I feel kind of guilty. I spend the whole time pushing things, and I'm thinking, oh, I love that, but it, it really is. It's, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I enjoy them very much, and I, I like to take pictures of even my very beginning pieces. Sometimes people on Facebook um, think I'm posting a, a finished painting, but really it's just like, oh, those colors are neat, I think I'll take a picture of them. So you might even recognize little parts of my paintings for, for people who have seen pictures on Facebook. Um, you might see 
a little section and think that seems familiar. That's because I do that a lot. So anyway, I, I, I do that and I have a random something going on. And sometimes that sits around for weeks. I've got this one sat around for a few years before I kind of pick it up again and I start to look at the painting and what's on it and I start to discover things in the work. So this, for example, is great because this is just kind of this green panel I painted. I kind of did a mush and I, it was, there wasn't much to it. And it did sit around for about two years and then this last summer, I kind of was looking at that and thought, that really kind of looks like greenery. Like, I like that. Maybe I'll put some, something else in there. And, and before I knew it, I, I had done this little still life. So um, a lot of the, the things that I think about, I spend a lot of time, um, a lot of solitude in my life. I work alone. I'm not lonely. I enjoy working alone. But I work with my paintings. They're kind of like friends. They, I, I work with them, they talk back to me, I start to find things in them, and I never force things on my paintings. They start to kind of suggest to me what they should be. And so once in a while I'll kind of have an idea I want to do, or I kind of force something in one of my paintings, and they just simply don't work. So you won't see one of those here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you but, so they're, to me, they're very alive, they're very living. Um, it's, it's like a collaboration with each and every panel that I work with. So um, after a while, after I've worked on some things, it starts to maybe look like a landscape. It often does. I, I love nature. I love to take hikes. I take millions of photos of nature. <clears throat> and so I look at textures, and I start to kind of work things into them, different themes, and you can kind of see some things that kind of emerge in the works. I, I study a lot of art history, and so sometimes buildings or the columns that are in some of my paintings just come from being enamored with ancient, uh, ancient art, things that I've, I've studied. Um, but uh, basically, uh, they just kind of emerge out of what I've started to work on in the, in the <coughs> These sculptures, are actually, um, I just love ancient art. And so there are these stelas in the museum, Egyptian stelas that I have stared at for 20 years. And apparently just, I'd like to have a couple of stelas of my own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can support them actually now. But, um, anyway, so that I, I, I decided to make some things that I've admired through the years, um, other incredible human beings who've made beautiful things, I, I like to sometimes try to do that myself. So that's a little bit of what's going on as well. Um, so I hope that you've all been back to the Poetry Boutique, which is in the far end of the gallery. And this started a couple of years ago. I kind of started thinking I, I would like to have more poetry in my life. I love poetry. And life gets so busy, I just don't have much time to even read poetry. So um, I was on Facebook, my, my friend Patrick Nees is here. He had a friend on Facebook named Greg Pack, and I started notice, noticing Greg's haiku that he wrote, and I was like, oh, those are neat, I liked them. And Greg had kind of saw some, seen some of my paintings, and we kind of started to talk a little, and he came to one of my, um, I was in a group show, and Greg came to the group show and he gave me his book of haiku that he'd written. And I was like, oh, that, that's really delightful. What a nice person. I started to read his book. And before I knew it, we, you know, we chatted a little more. And, um, we decided to get together for coffee. And uh, right away, um, I think he'd written something for a little photo image on Facebook. And I, I think we'd had coffee once and I said, maybe we could do something together. Maybe you could write something for one of my paintings or something like that. So there's a painting back there called, I don't know what, Bomb Pop Sky. Oh, yeah. She's like, I don't know. You should know your <laughs> Anyway, so I showed Greg the painting, a photo of it, and he rattled off 
he usually does is journalistic type of work, dates and people, but he, he wrote this beautiful piece for the painting, and I was like, oh, I love that. So we right away decided we were going to do these pieces together, and it went from a, we did hardly know each other to we're working on a project together, which is kind of <laughs> weird. But um, early on, we thought that's how it was going to go, that I was going to paint, and he was going to write, or maybe he would write and I would paint. But very soon after we started to get to know each other, um, I was reading some more of his work he had in the book, and there was this little part, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's just like a painting I'd done. I'm finally seeing my mother, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks. 